Hey everybody, welcome in, welcome in. We're back for the final part of Ryer's request for half mouse, half keyboard, rock and stone. We're here with Gunner. Of course, we gotta save the best for last. And Diamond and I thought, let's try an elimination mission. Let's see if we can fight dreadnoughts with haphazard controls. <laughs> we're gonna die. We are probably going to <laughs> die, but we're gonna try our best anyway. <laughs> Uh, I'm basically running one of my normal uh, builds for fighting Dreadnoughts, Diamond, if you don't mind. <laughs> so this is the same build that I ran when I was in the 100 sub celebration. So combat mobility, run like so, higher clip, rate of fire, damage, armor breaking, and feedback loop. And then lead spray, basically built for full damage, with, but I need the accuracy in tier 1. And sticky grenades. Well, let's see how this goes, eh? Skull Crusher? Eh, uh, I don't think we really need Skull Crusher for an elimination. If it was Slayer Stealth, that'd be a different story, but... Alright! stone in the heart! Well, let's see how fast we get killed. Let's see, let's see if the big boys will eat us. <laughs> Just oh god. We are not fighting them at the same time before anybody asks. We are not doing that. <laughs> I normally would fight. Are you kidding me? Yes. We barely have enough coordination to probably fight one, much less two. Yeah. You're not wrong. Let's just do one at a time. Remember, and... Leave no one behind. Oh, jeez. We got dreadnought cocoons on our scanners, and you get to eradicate them before they turn into something even worse. My advice: I'm looking for banner, it. They can take a punch. There's recharging. Oh, Bosco. Yeah, let's just have him do it, because then we can figure Bosco, out where our big boys mine. are. So, check the train scanner. Oh, diamond! I was looking. <laughs> I was just trying to read. <laughs> well, because I want to look for both, so that we know where both of them are. Let's Split into two, so. It's the yeah, that actually is a good point. Yeah, they kind of go to the same place. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can call our dreadnought and start running back, and then we can call the resupply. Well, let's get to the other end of the room, though. Yeah. Can we reload? Because I don't think. Oh. Yeah, this is the way they came in, because the prospector is hanging out right here, so... I mean... I guess, felt but... better. I can't see the cocoon. <laughs> Alright, let's go. What do we got? Of course it's a hive guard! Fantastic, alright, let's do this. Hopefully, we don't run into issues with this prospector, but... Is that the He's kind of running that way, though, so we might be okay. I mean, we, it's like, yeah, we were too, too long, too far down. <laughs> All right, guys, dreadnoughts, sentinels. Let's have Bosco attack them. If I can, yeah, if I can click on one, one of them. Alright, let's get that resupply. So we're definitely gonna need it. Alright, we are ready. Stand back, supply pod inbound. <laughs> Diamond, you're just haphazardly jumping. What the <laughs> Time to restart! <laughs> like stepping on a slug! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, boss, we can get him. We can just hang back and save ammo. Oh, there's more nature there for when he's done. Go fetch! Yeah. That's why I wanted to point, look up and point it out to you. Oh, he's right there! Where's the big boy? I'm gonna train scanner him so that we know where he is. He... Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is! Oh, oh he's right there! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Hiveguard! Yeah. Let's spray him in the... In the behind! Okay, so... Get behind him! Got him! 
<laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> yep. At least in solo, in a group, that's gonna be a different story. And just get the second one. Yeah, get the second one called. Yeah, sorry, we're about to switch. I was gonna say, let's not do that. <laughs> Thankfully, the scroll wheel is an option, but. Yeah, I actually think we're going to make it. All right, let's get the other one, and might need a zip line, but I'll get a zip line from here. That's fine. Just climb back up. Mm, not without pickaxing yeah! it first, but. <laughs> Not very easily, but because I want to try and avoid wasting ammo. Now this will be fun because we're trying to dodge, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this will this will be fun. I was honestly hoping for a set of twins to be one of them, Diamond, because I figured that'd be a really interesting dynamic. But because we have split controls, but <laughs> oh, there's one of them. Nope. 
Interesting challenge, to say the least, to have half, half controls, pretty much. <laughs> that was really fun. Credits to Ryer for suggesting this. <laughs> Just gotta wait for Molly. <laughs> I know, that's why I like the Cyber Ninja thing on him. Alright, we are out. Woo! Rock and stone! <laughs> to the bone, everybody. Yeah, that was good. I think... I gotta say, I think that one was actually the smoothest out of the four. It turned out to actually be the easiest. <laughs> hey, praise me, gutter. Alright, buddy. Alright, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that little little series. Credits to Ryer once again. Catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> Thanks for watching.